everybody. Hey, guys. Doing another today. Hope everybody is uh, staying healthy and safe. Uh, we're back in here for another sneaker video, and uh, this one I'm going to show you today uh, is very special to me. Uh, this one really is the first Jordan sneaker that I had as a kid. Um, my grandparents actually got it for me for my birthday. I think it was like 11 or 12 at the time. And uh, I remember that I loved this shoe so much that at one point the outsole was falling off, and I had my dad glue it back on because I just didn't want to get rid of it. But... Um, this also is the one that kind of got me started loving sneakers uh, because I remember Michael Jordan wearing this shoe and I just remember back then seeing the shoe on TV and just absolutely like being in all of it and just, just wanted to have it. Uh, now when I did get this for my birthday, unfortunately it was a grade school size, not an adult size, but um, it is what it is. So anyway, what I ended up picking up was the uh, Jordan 3 White Cement, but this is the free throw line version. So this isn't exactly the same as the, the pair that I had back when I was a kid in 1988, 1989, but uh, there really isn't much difference to it. Uh, really the only big thing is that the, uh, the soles of the shoe are translucent. And I'll get into this more uh, when I give you guys a closer look, but um, they released this shoe back in 2018 to commemorate the uh, 30th anniversary of the 1988 Slam Dunk Contest. And that was the one, of course, the famous one where Michael Jordan did the foul line dunk at the end. And uh, I think all of us as kids who grew up in 1988 uh, had that poster on our wall, uh, seeing MJ flying through the air. Actually, I uh, even got a t-shirt made that had it too. So uh, uh, this is one of my uh, very special moments uh, from my childhood watching him do that. But um, I just think this shoe is absolutely incredible. Like I said, this one really was the one that got me started loving sneakers. Uh, if I saw you at the mall or in the store wearing the shoe and had the adult version, uh, I just could not stop staring at the shoe on your feet. So uh, this was this was just it for me. And I really wanted to add this one to my collection. So I've been hunting down this one for a while. Uh, I don't know if these are rare. I know in my size it was very hard to find a dead stock pair. Uh, there were only two on StockX and one on eBay. And all three of them, the prices were absolutely crazy. So uh, I did end up finding this pair on the website Mercari. Um, I've only done two transactions on Mercari. Uh, the first one I did, uh, I actually did not get the shoes I bought. But like two days later, they refunded me my money, so I can't really say anything bad about it. And I did get this pair, and this pair is you know 100% authentic, and it just looks absolutely amazing. So I can't really complain about it. But uh, anyway, what I'd like to do now is I'd like to uh, show you guys a closer look at the shoe and kind of show you some of the Easter eggs on the shoe uh, that happened about that night. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on it because I know you've seen a thousand Jordan threes before, but um, I just think this one is extremely special. Um, if somebody told me that I could only have three Jordans for the rest of my life, this Jordan 3 white cement would be one of them. But uh, Anyway, why don't we go and take a look at this shoe and we'll see what you guys think. Let's quickly take a look at the box. It's a standard Jordan 3 box. The Jumpman logo is on the front with the classic elephant print design around the bottom. The tissue paper inside the box also has the elephant print design on it, but it's something that you've seen a thousand times. Here's a look at the size tag if you're interested. The colorway reads white, fire red, and cement gray. And this one is a special Jordan 3. This is the free throw line edition. The Jordan 3 was designed by Tinker Hatfield. At the time, MJ was not happy with the Jordan 2 and was thinking about leaving Nike. He sat down with Tinker and provided his input on what he was looking for. A shoe that had a sleek style, mid-cut height, and soft and supple leather. The Jordan 3 was also the first Jordan to showcase the Jumpman logo, which appeared on the tongue. When Tinker eventually showed MJ the shoe, he absolutely loved it. To this day, this is one of Michael Jordan's favorite shoes. The upper of the shoe is made mostly of a soft, tumbled leather. In my collection, I have the 2018 Jordan 3 Katrina and Tinker Hatfield edition, and those are two of the most comfortable Jordan retros I own. I'm going to assume the leather quality and comfort will be the same on these as well. The leather around the mudguard area is smooth and has a more stiff and durable feel to it. You have the iconic elephant print design around the toe cap and heel and ankle area. The midsole is primarily white, but is painted in a matte black finish around the heel. And lastly, you have a clear air unit. Here is a look at the lace area. The fire red eye stays at the bottom of the laces really pop off the shoe. 
You do have a little bit of perforated leather about midway up with some white eye stays. And then finally we have the black eye stay at the very top. The tongue is made of a perforated leather and at the top of the tongue you have the iconic Jumpman logo in the fire red. The medial side of the shoe is not much different than the lateral side of the shoe, but I will give you some B-roll here. On the back tabs of the shoe is what all of us OG sneakerheads want to see. The Nike Air on the back. It's just, it just makes the shoe a classic. Earlier I mentioned the shoe has some Easter eggs, so let's get into those. Behind the tongue, you'll see the number 147. This is Michael Jordan's total score at the 1988 Slam Dunk Contest. Hidden behind the back tabs, you will see the number 351. This is the time that was on the arena's clock when MJ took flight. Now we get to what really makes this shoe so awesome. The outsoles of the shoe are translucent, but on the left shoe, you will see a red line about midfoot. This represents the free throw line the point where Michael Jordan's left foot took off for the foul line dunk. That is just such an awesome touch. Otherwise, the outsoles have the same exact pattern as a standard OG Jordan 3, as you can see here when compared to the outsole of the Black Cement 3. The last Easter egg on this shoe is the insoles of the shoe. Here is a picture. I didn't want to take them out. The right insole is a standard insole, but the left insole looks exactly like the bottom of the outsole we just saw, with the free throw line being about midfoot. Again, this is just a really cool touch and what makes this shoe so special. Alright guys, so that was a closer look at the, uh, the Jordan 3 white cement free throw version. Um, if you saw this video and you like this shoe, like I mentioned earlier, you can find this shoe on StockX, GOAT, eBay. I'd also check uh, Flight Club and Stadium Goods as well. Now, as far as prices go, it really de it really depends on the size of your feet. Uh, somebody who, like me, has a big foot, um, you're going to be paying more than somebody who has a smaller foot. So it's really up to you. I honestly don't know what these are going for. I can tell you what these these go for, but um, you know the prices on those were really really high. Uh, I think the prices on eBay and StockX and Goat were like six seven hundred bucks, and I can tell you I didn't pay anywhere near that uh, on the on but um, like I said, it really depends on the size of your feet. So you just kind of have to go look and do some research. I'd also probably maybe do some uh, do some looking on like some real versus fake videos on YouTube just to be on the safe side. Um, I know that eBay authenticates now and so does StockX and Goat, but you just never know. Uh, you just want to do your research. That's what I did with these and uh, everything seemed to be legit. Anyway, uh, I want to thank you guys a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. In the comment section, let me know. If you could only have three Jordans in your collection for the rest of your life, what would they be? This would be one of them for me, and another one would be the uh, Air Jordan 4 White Cement. Those two are probably my favorite Jordans of all time. The third one, I'd really have to think about. But uh, anyway, let me know. So again, I want to thank you guys a lot for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.